That roar is not coming from a snow machine. Instead, the plume you see are tiny aerosol particles. It's the first technology in the country to test ways to brighten clouds in an effort to cool the globe. This system is composed of three main components. In these tanks, Jessica Madrado and a group of scientists from the University of Washington's Marine Cloud Brightening Program are mixing salt and water and using a compression system to test if this machine can distribute the right size particles. They say Alameda provides the perfect cloud conditions over the bay. If you make the particles that are too small, uh, they are not going to uh, create the effect that you want in, in this marine cloud. If you make them too big, they will actually create or induce a rainy cloud. The goal? To mimic the effects of pollution in a cleaner way, using salt water to brighten clouds, which they hope will then reflect more sunlight back into space to help cool the earth. Still in the early phases, program director Sarah Doherty says right now they need to figure out if it's even possible and how much impact it could have. To, to understand, so with something like marine cloud brightening, you're not going to just reverse global warming. So it's really important um, how it plays out in the climate system will depend on where you could brighten clouds and how much. Cal State East Bay Professor Elena Givintel is excited about the research, but cautions that as Earth continues to heat up, the various ideas for cooling the world are not without controversy. While there are certain benefits from uh, trying to cool the environment, we, we're not quite sure what kind of negative effects. Doherty believes reducing emissions is the most important tool, but says that alone won't be enough. But we are kind of locked in at this point, committed to significant climate disruption. So the question is, are there other things we can do to help reduce suffering and impacts? And this might be one of them. The group of researchers plan to be here throughout the summer. They also hope that they can make this an educational experience for those who visit the museum. In Alameda, Valina Jones, NBC Bay Area News.